Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to simplify fractions. Okay, so let's just start with a couple of uh, very simple examples. Uh, let's suppose uh, we have 3 over 9 and we are told to put this in the lowest terms or simplify um, lowest terms okay um, basically the words lowest terms simplify they all mean the same thing they want you to turn this fraction into the smallest possible um, fraction that you can okay so basically the uh, easiest way to do that is to just divide um, and if you're not sure um, how to use any other methods. This is the method I'm going to show you is the easiest, although it is the longest method of doing it. Okay. Now the first thing you need to know is uh, you need to uh, understand or remember what is the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is a number that goes into three and nine evenly without any leftovers okay so uh, we're looking for a number that goes into 3 and 9 and uh, the only number that uh, we have here is going to be 3 so what I need to do is now that I've got my greatest common factor which is 3 I divide by 3 3 divided by 3 equals 1 and now I divide the 9 by 3 as well because whatever you do to the top you have to do to the bottom okay so if I divide the top the numerator by 3 I have to divide the denominator by 3 and so that's me dividing the denominator by 3 and 9 divided by 3 is 3 so that gives us the fraction 1 third okay so again, you're looking for the greatest, co the greatest common factor or the highest common factor that goes by different names sometimes. This is uh, explained more fully in another video. If you've never heard of this before, then you should find the video that uh, explains what the greatest common factor is. Okay, let's try another example. Let's try 8 over 12. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to look for the greatest common factor that goes into both of these numbers. And I think, just off the top of my head, it looks like it's going to be 4. So, I divide by 4. Alright. I divide the numerator and denominator by 4. That gives me 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. And I can't take these, I can't take this fraction any smaller because there are 2 and 3 do not share a common factor. So I can't do anything more to this. So this is basically telling us that uh, 8 twelfths, when we simplify it, is 2 thirds. It means the same thing as 2 thirds. So we can say that 8 twelfths. Uh, simplified is 2 over 3. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try 15 over 25. All right, so again, I look for the greatest common factor. What number goes into 15 and 25 evenly without any remainders? That would be uh, 5. So I divide the numerator by 5, and I divide the denominator by 5. Okay, 15 divided by 5 is going to give me 3. And 25 divided by 5 gives me 5. So that means that 15 over 25, when simplified, is 
three fifths. Okay, so that's how you deal with uh, some fairly simple um, fractions and how to use uh, the greatest common factor. I'm going to show you now a method uh, which does the same thing, but it you can use this method in case uh, you can't immediately spot what the greatest common factor is and you you're, don't really have any idea. Okay? Okay, so let's suppose we have this uh, fraction, 48 over 64. And let's suppose that you don't know your times tables and you're looking at this fraction and you're saying, I haven't got an, any idea what the greatest common factor is. I do know that 2 goes into both of those numbers. They're both even numbers, so I can tell that 2 goes, into, and it goes in. So I can divide by 2. Okay, I can d divide the numerator by 2 and I can divide the denominator by 2. And that would give me uh, 24 on top and 32 on the bottom. So I'm down to 24 30 fourths. And now I've been thinking about a little while and I think, uh, well, okay, I think uh, probably... Uh, sorry, this is wrong. <laughs> I'm a little wrong. Uh, 32. Uh, so I've been looking at it, and after I realized I had made a mistake, I changed it. And But now I can see that both of these I can divide by 4. Okay. So 24 divided by 4 is going to give me 6. Okay. And 32 divided by 4 is going to give me 8. Okay. And now I'm left with, an, with a fraction that feels much more manageable. I feel like I can do this. Uh, I know that 6 won't go into 8, so I can't use 6. Uh, I can't use 5. I can't use 4 because 4 will go into this one, but it won't go into this one. But I uh, and I can't use 3. 3 will go into 6, but it won't go into 8. So it needs to be 2. So I divide by 2. Again, I divide the numerator and de denominator by 2. And 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. And 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So that means that 48 over 64 Simplified is three quarters or three fourths. Okay. I hope you find this found this helpful. Good luck.